Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today I'm gonna be redoing all of my binders and starting over from scratch, okay? So I had um, on my last video counted up, took everything out of all of my challenges as well as sinking funds. And I had a total of 18,000, what was the total? Total of $18,820, which is here. Some of this is in savings and some of this is actual bills. I wanna go ahead and add some additional 1,000 1K slips to do kind of like an unstuffing and a condense and a condensing of bills all at the same time. So let me go ahead and get started and you'll see how I'm gonna do this. First of all, I wanna go ahead and divide up each one of the denominations. Um, so I'll have access to those. These are all the hundreds. Y'all, I got over $10,000 worth of hundreds, really? Yeah, this money gotta go. Okay. And 20s. 10s. fives and ones. I'm going to sit the ones right here. Okay. So now that I have that, I do want to add some more one case slips into the mix. What I want to do is add in four 1000 slips. One, I think there's at least $4,000 in envelopes that I can change out one case slips. I had one that was already be jazzled. So one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna add that to the five that are already here because this is $5,000 I have in the bank. So I'm gonna add these four to that, okay? So that means there should be at least $4,000 that will be left on the table in real bills that I'll be able to take to the bank and put into my savings account because I put those four 1K slips in, okay? So we're gonna start first, not with the savings challenges because I think those, I'm gonna try to beef those up so we're gonna start with my regular binder first. I am gonna need these post-it notes to make a couple of, let me put these ones over here, to make a couple of um, adjustments. So this part is the part that might take a little bit of time and hence the reason why I split the video up. First is gonna be Janae. Now, one of my subscribers and friends, her name is Miriam, she came up with an idea or she sent me an idea on Instagram about, um, let me put that over there, about the kids saving up to a certain amount and then once they get to a certain amount, I was thinking about opening a green light account for them, but instead of doing that, taking the money out and you know rolling it over into something else if after they got to a certain dollar amount. And I was thinking about it and I'm like, what is the dollar amount you know, for the kids? And I have $640 in both my kids savings sinking funds. And I'm thinking in my mind, they probably won't ever need this much. So I'm going to take them both down to $400. Now I do have quite a bit more money coming, you know, towards the rest of this month. And I will be stuffing more into their envelopes. I'm thinking the goal will be 500 for them. And once they get above 500, if they don't have anything to spend it on, or I don't see any need for it, then I'll take it out towards the end of the month and roll it over into something else. And that's gonna be the plan for the new year. So their envelopes rarely will reach over 500. For right now, I'm gonna restuff them today being the 21st, I think it is. And I'm just gonna put restuff, because that's what it's gonna be. And I'm gonna have $400 for them, okay? So I'm gonna put large bills because I'm also trying to condense. One, two, three, four. So $400 will be in Janae's envelope. All right, so let me just put hers back, $400. The same thing's gonna go for Jace. And then I'm gonna show you about the post-it note, what I'm gonna do. 11, 21, 21, Ruth stuff. And I'm gonna put $400 will be their balance. So Jace, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that extra $240, that's what I wanna list on this post-it note because that's money that at the end of this video, I'm gonna need to reallocate, okay? So I have 240 from Janae and 240 from Jace. And that money is gonna be reallocated towards the end of the video. 
Next is car maintenance. Car maintenance had 1,400, and I don't mind keeping that amount in there because you guys know I need some tires, but I am gonna replace it with the 1K slip. So I'll do 1,000 and then do hundreds. One, two, three, four. So that will be 1,400 for that. That one's great. Next is household. Household has 295. I am gonna go ahead and update this one and add an extra, so we'll say restuff. And I'm gonna add just an extra $5, so it'll be exactly 300. And so for this one, I need to say minus $5 for household. I'm taking $5 out of some of that extra so that I can just take three 100s. And that'll be one, two, three. And that'll go into household. Next is clothing. Clothing um, has 560. And I don't mind it keeping 560. I'm just gonna try to grab some large bills. One, two, three, four, five, 550, 560. That's one, two, three, four, five, 50, 60 for clothing. I did out of my last check that I got um, for travel, I did purchase some clothing items already and I just never added it and subtracted it. I just took it directly out of our check. Next is medical. Medical is another one that I'm just gonna make 300. So I'm gonna say minus $15 for medical. And this is gonna be 11, 21. A restuff and I'm gonna restuff 300 total and that'll be three one hundreds three one two three so I never thought I would take all the bills out of these binders and do it this way but you know what it's helping me to like reallocate some money and get it together birthdays same thing whoa Wait a minute, hold on. Birthday, same thing. I have 285. I want to take $15 for birthday. And make this one 11, 21, 21. A restuff of $300. And that'll be one, two, three. So that will be 300 for birthdays. Next is Christmas. Christmas has 22.50. And um, I am gonna go Christmas shopping soon, but I am gonna restuff right now, 22.50. I'm just gonna make it larger bills. So we'll have 2000 placeholders because I'm gonna take that money to the bank so I can start shopping. And then we'll do five of these, one, two, three four, five, and a 50. So that'll be one, two thousand, one, two, three, four, five, five, fifty. So 2250 for that. And I still wanna add some more money to Christmas before Christmas comes. You guys know I had a goal of 3000 and so I'll be doing that towards the end of this month, which is also when I'll start shopping, okay? Boss Funds is next and it has 225 and I'm okay with that. I just wanna make sure it has large bills. One, two, 25. One, two, 25. And um, I'm debating on whether I wanna get that ring light. I know you guys can see the sun coming in. It comes and goes, I'm sorry. Travel um, has 1455. And we are trying to do a couple of trips soon. However, I am gonna move some of this over to um, one of my challenges going to Dubai. So for right now, I'm just gonna restuff $1,000 in here. 21, 21, restuff. Now I'll just do a flat thousand. So I'm just gonna put a 1K slip. And that means 455 needs to go on my little post-it note. So let me do that. 455 travel. 
All right, next is Gingy, and she has $340. And Gingy is another one that I think I really don't need any more than like maybe $400. I'm gonna take and restuff hers only $300. And I really didn't plan this out, so I'm just thinking as I'm going through and you guys are seeing the process, okay? So I'm gonna take out $40, which means there's $40 from Gingy. And I'll just stuff her $300 bills. One, two, three. Because um, there's going to be probably more cash stuffings and some small bills and addition of money can come into the play as we go along in the month. Um, the end of this month specifically. Next is Beauty. Beauty has 420 and I'm going to um, leave that at 420 just because I think I want to get my hair braided. One, two, three, four, and 20. And plus, if my daughter wants to get her hair rebraided, there'll be extra in here. And I would like to keep this one up just in case we want to do something um, beauty-wise. Okay? One month ahead has, well, come on, 745. And I think I'm going to restuff 800. 21. So that means I'm taking $55 out of this extra for one month. I don't know if you guys can see on my little chicken scratch, but it's there. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We'll do 800. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. So 800 will be going into one month ahead. For myself, I had 300. I'm going to still continue to put that back. So that'll be 3100. 300 for me. Oh, sorry. One, two, three. 300 for myself. Forgiving, I didn't have anything in there, and I'm going to just leave that like that. Investments, I had 500. Um, and I'm really not ready to start investing yet. Um, I should, I know everybody's like, do your investments. Like we're, they're all doing it together and everything. But I think for me, this money has been sitting here because I've not made a decision about if I'm ready to start, um, investing. So I'm going to take everything but $100 and I'll put restuff for 100 and I'll figure out if I want to beef this one up or not, but this 500 has been sitting in here for months and I haven't done anything with it. So we'll let a hundred sit in there. Okay. <laughs> that means 400 more dollars is going over here from investments. Okay. And then there's bank deposit, which has nothing because I took the hundred dollars I had from the last time. So that's everything for this binder. And it is much more condensed even though I believe this binder could hold a lot more. This is a really nice binder. I linked it in my last video, um, the size of it and everything. And it's from Agenda 52, which comes from Hobby Lobby. Love it. Okay. So next we're going to do my challenges. And I put some post-it notes on my last video so I can remember how much was in each one. Um, all right. So before we stuff the challenges, let's go ahead and see how much extra we have. Because I think I'm going to do something with that today. So that's 240, 240, and then minus five, minus 15, minus 15, plus 455, plus 40, minus 55, plus 400. Look at that. That's the extra $1,285 that I got out of these other sinking funds that I'm gonna to put towards some savings challenges. So let me write that amount down and I'll figure out how I'm going to add that additional amount into my challenges. And let me grab my challenge savings book. Hold on one second. All right, so I'm gonna move this off the table and then we don't need the calculator anymore either. So we just need the binder for our challenges. And then I brought out my savings challenge binder, which is the easy cash budget planner with savings challenges, special edition. Now I have a book that's just 100% all savings challenges. 
and that one has over 30 savings challenges in it and that's the one that's linked down below this is also linked down below but this is actually a budgeting book as well as challenges in the back so i had already started it in these challenge i'd already started in these challenges in the back so in the back of this book so i'm going to continue until i finish these and then i'll move over to the challenge you know planner the 100 challenge planner so let's see what we got let's see how we're going to start this first up is house renovations house renovations had twelve hundred dollars and let me get to that page and I had already colored in 12 houses, um, but I think I'm going to restuff instead of 1200, I'm gonna take part of this 1285 and let me start another post-it, hold on. I have a starting balance of 1285 and I'm gonna take some of this 1285 and put it into house. So I will put 500 in there. Okay, so let me color five more houses and I only brought out two markers, so we're just gonna go with it. I'm really trying to get to my hardwood floors and some of that money sitting in those other sinking funds just wasn't making sense, you know what I mean? And after I saw Jordan budgets, I was like, you know, I'm not going through anything, but I do need to like reallocate and get to the goals that I want. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna alternate colors. All right, so that's $1,200 plus the $500. So that should be a total of $1,700 that I'm going to put inside of house renovations. I'm going to put a 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1,700 into house renovations. And I still have then $785 extra to allocate. All right, next, spring break. Spring break had $500 and I do wanna put an extra $400. So we'll say minus 400, spring break. And that'll make it $385 left over extra. Y'all, we hope this all works out. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> Spring break, $400. That's going to be four of these little flip-flops. Let me move this out of the way. That's going to be four of these flip-flops. So I'm going to go ahead and color those in. One, two, three. So that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars in spring break, which is correct. So let me get nine one hundred dollar bills. All right, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, there was an extra one there. Nine hundred dollars, and that's gonna go over here in the spring break folder. Next is furniture. I'm not gonna put anything in that. You guys are gonna see me do that later. I will do it at the end though. Um, I have an emergency fund, 6680, but I also have an extra 385. So let me see, how am I gonna do this? All right, let's see. So I have 6680 plus 385, that's 7,065. I think I'm just gonna put a straight $7,000 into um, emergency fund, restuff, 7,000. All right, how many one case slips do I have? One, two, three, four. So this should be 7,000. That's one, two, three, four, five, no wait. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, that's 7,000. I really should need some more 1K slips. 
but that's okay. No, you know what? Let me change some of these out. Let me grab some more because I have. That's all right. I'll do it next time. So that's $7,000 for that. And that means I should have an extra $65 and that's going to go towards furniture. So I'm just going to put a 50, a 10, and a five. I do want to buy some furniture for my spare bedroom upstairs. So that will be 65 and I'm going to put that towards furniture even though I haven't started the, the actual tracker for it. You know what I mean? So $65 will go in there. All right, I think that's everything except I need to color in the emergency fund tracker to make it reflect 7,000. Let me put this to the side. All right, for my emergency fund, three to six months, it should be all the way up to 70%. Yeah, I'm going to color it up to 70% and then there's a little bit more, but I'll get that whenever I get up to the next bracket. Each one of these percentages equals $400. So this is $2,800 plus $4,000. So that's $6,800, but I really have um, $7,000 in there. So when I get the other $200, I'll color up to the next line. Okay, so my savings challenge book is all up to date. I'm going to put that to the side. And the final thing we need to do is make sure that there is $4,000 here to take to the bank, okay? So let me just get all this together, get rid of all these little bills, count this up. Hopefully this is right. We'll start with the hundreds and the fifties. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000. 1, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 52,000. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 53,000. All right, that's 3,000. What y'all think? Did I do it right? <laughs> Wait, we got to get this 50 out of here. I can't be counting all odd like that. Okay, 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 80, 96, 650, 60, 70, 80, 97, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 98, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4,000 dollars, y'all. Oh my goodness, I did it right. You know, I had hope that I could do it, but you know what? I'm not going to lie. After a while, I was like, I hope this all turn out right. So this $4,000, I'm going to take to the bank, okay? And it's going to be denoted by the 4K slips that I added to the binders. And I already had um, some money in the bank for my sinking funds anyway. All of this is not real money, so that worked out. Um, and I think that's everything. I got my binders like reorganized, evened them out, and took away some things that kind of don't make sense, like my kid's binder just Go, climbing, climbing, climbing. I'm going to kind of reduce that since this isn't their true savings account. It's kind of just like if emergencies happen. So yeah, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, you a real one. Go ahead and put this single emoji right here showing me you were here for part two of this whole story. Okay. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the comments, the subscribes. I appreciate you more than you know. Looked for me um, to come out with a new video in regards to a cash stuffing very shortly, which will also have the announcement for the winner of the planners. Okay. All right. I think that's everything for today. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.